What's up, guys? Uh, this is Bisar Investing. Uh, so this is our 1K to 10, uh, 100K uh, challenge. So we're sitting at 49.64. We took a big hit today. Well, 7%. Not that bad, but um, yeah. So it's uh, we're looking at some really, really bad days. Like a few days in a row. So... Bingo, bingo, bingo. We are down 11%, and uh, after hours, it's currently down 6%. We had some good news with the financials. Uh, this is a problem with uh, today's uh, trend. There's so much hype uh, build up leading towards uh, the earnings, and then good earnings or bad earnings, it just falls, it just tanks. Uh, people just sell. I don't, I don't know what's going on, but, anyways. Um, bingo, future looks really good. Twenty twenty, uh, this year, have some really good high milestones to hit. We should see much better numbers this year. So, long term hold, we're good. If you are short term investors, I don't know what to say. I mean, <laughs> if you bought in uh, just to make a few a quick buck, then you're kind of looking at a huge down. But uh, I'll just suggest uh, becoming a long-term holder because if you sell now, then you're just losing money. So uh, think about that, right? So um, I think Hive also took a hit because Ethereum and Bitcoin both were down today. So Ethereum was down 6% and Bitcoin a few percent. So from, yeah, so from 54, 55, all the way down to like 53. So uh, no news from Hive. It's it's really good chance to uh, it's a really good opportunity to buy right now because um, just look at the price it's crazy I think I got in at like five something so really good time to average down uh, let's see so once again Hut and Bitfarm uh, tomorrow morning they should have their earnings uh, they'll release the details uh, before pre market so. And earnings will be, uh, the call will be at 10 o'clock a.m. So uh, if you want to check it out, you can go to one of these links here, right here. You can go through here and it will send you to the conference call or whatever. So yeah, follow that. And right. So Bitfarm, Bitfarm's just under... Did have a news that it announced a uh, total installed hash rate of 1.2 exahash. Now there's a lot to go through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a video on Bitfarm's um, article right here, this news. Uh, so yeah, check that out. I'm just going to make that right after this. So DGHI we had a news. I'll cover this DJ, DGHI news because it's smaller. Not that much uh, to cover. So, DJHI Digital uh, acquires 60 megawatt power plant, increasing hash rate capacity to 3 exahash. So currently, if you know, if uh, you know, currently they have 184 petahash and 183 hodl Bitcoin hodl. So, uh, let's see. So, purchase of 60 megawatt power uh, megawatt power plant, uh, Digifactory One, located in the state of New York, doesn't say where, but no, most likely northern New York, like north. Bringing the company's total power capacity to approximately 1 or 2 megawatt. So the company's ability to generate its own power will significantly reduce electricity costs, which is really key for crypto miners. So the company's largest operating expense for its crypto mining uh, operations. Yeah, so electricity costs and land or lease, those are usually the uh, main operating costs. It is estimated that with the acquisition of Digifactory 1, the all-in cost of electricity will be reduced to under 3 cents per kilowatt hour. So that's really good. Um, let's see. To the extent, blah, blah, blah. So the, com uh, the company's objective to mitigate its carbon footprint, Digihost, uh, Digifactory 1 will have the capacity to operate an additional 18,000 top-tier Bitcoin miners, which, if added, to the existing fleet of 11,500 miners already in operation would combine for a total Bitcoin mining capacity of approximately 400 Bitcoin per month as of today's 
mining difficulty factor. And of course, this won't apply down the line when they have that 3 exa hash. Well, we don't know when they're going to have that 3 exa hash, but mining difficulty will increase uh, by then. So uh, per month, Bitcoin mined will be much different. So yeah. Uh, let's see. Actually, the expanded capacity would allow for a potential increase to the existing hash rate of 190 per hash to, uh, up to 3x hash. So this substantial increase in Bitcoin, both Bitcoin mining output capacity and hash rate would be the direct result of potentially adding up to 18,000 latest great gen latest generation Bitcoin miners versus the current operating mix of 11,500 older and newer version Bitcoin miners. So, uh, most likely they're going to phase out the older ones and put in the new ones so they save uh, so they save space and cost because of course the older generation they don't have the highest efficiency in terms of electricity per hash rate uh, like that ratio so um, that's what they usually do and then they just phase out the old ones and then just sell the old ones uh, to just like retail, I guess, people, individual people who, who want to uh, just mine Bitcoin. If it is a um, little bit of a pro like a profitable miner. So. so under the terms of the agreement, the company will pay to the vendor cash consideration of $3.5 million and issue to the vendor 437,000 shares of the company with a deemed value of $750,000. So 172 per share. Wow, that's a huge discount. Okay. Uh, uh, that's that. So the transaction is expected to close within 90 days, subject to TSX Venture Exchange and all required regulatory approvals. So this deal, yeah, she takes about three months. Um, that's because there's a uh, transfer of shares. So that's why. Otherwise, it should be much quicker. Um, and also, we don't know how quick the TSX uh, venture um, is. So it's not compared to like NASDAQ or uh, New York Stock Exchange. I think that was it for this one. Yeah, so that's a big news. Currently, 184. So they say 190 per hash, but like 184 per hash per second. Uh, so... It's a good thing they're using that money up right now for uh, it's they it's from that prospectus that uh, 125 million dollars preliminary base price. So they're using 3.5 million dollars and some shares. So uh, that still gives them 100 plus million dollars. Well, they did use 25 million to uh, sell the stocks. So plus that, let's say. Let's say about 90 million, you know, a little more than that, but still 90 million uh, plus US dollars. And uh, that should be enough to get a uh, significant uh, hash rate power. So we don't know which companies they're going to be looking at uh, because uh, chip shortage, uh, supply shortage, all that still factors in. So it, uh, being a smaller company, we don't know if they have influence over getting the orders and from where they'll be getting it but we did expect them to uh, get orders uh, land or in terms of just power so now they got the power so that's good uh, get this out of the way this does take a little bit longer so they need to get this uh, figured out uh, just built and all that and then once they order it in a few months should be ready to go so expect within four or five months uh, for this to be updated uh hash rate should increase up to at least 500 per hash so it should be more than uh triple uh more than double so um this company is looking good um still market cap is pretty low considering the price and uh good opp opportunity to buy my average price was about 2.12 so um yeah so not a bad price to get in and Let's see. So, uh, most of the stocks were down today. Uh, Essences was down big. Um, you could say I could have waited, but you know, who the hell uh, knows <laughs> if this is going to continue? And um, yeah, so minus uh, 4.7 for Emergent Corp. 
um, you should know that I am holding these long terms, so it doesn't matter uh, for me if they go down. Uh, it just that's just a good buying opportunity for me. That's it, um, and for anyone who wants to invest in these companies. Um, so just know that Bitfarm, Hut, and Hive, they've all filled out the proper uh, paperwork for Nasdaq slash NYSC listing. So we don't know how long that's going to take, but I feel like most likely Hut is going to be the first, and then uh, maybe Bitfarm and Hive. But I don't know the second and third, but I think Hut will, Hut will go first. They do have a higher volume in terms of their... Um, listed in the Toronto Stock Exchange and not the Ventures. So I feel like Cut will be first in line. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, let's see. So DJ Chai. Yeah, I think I covered all of it. Minus 7 is pretty big. Um, taking a big hit. So this does come into play against, uh, again, uh, early in March, we did have this uh, same drop. Um, strong diamond hands people you know if you're holding it and you have a big high conviction in these stops diamond hands don't sell if you sell now you'll be at a loss depending on what price you get in of course but uh, my advice would be no don't sell and uh, you probably know this by now but i am not a financial advisor so please do your own research and dd Build up that conviction in the stock you're investing in because you know best and your risk tol tolerance. So, yeah, invest wisely. And uh, please feel free to like and subscribe. This is B Side Investing, and thank you for watching. And see you in the next one. And I'll be doing the bit farm review just after this, so stay tuned for that. And thank you for watching. Peace. Bye.